boys and girls, we have done all of the letters in class except for Z. Now, along with this video, I'm also going to make a video of me doing my alphabet book, saying uh, the words that go along with each of the pictures. So you can go through that for practice. And then if you need to finish up some of your letters, if there are some that you were gone on a Friday and you didn't get it done, you can pause the video at that letter and go ahead and copy my picture. But for right now, what we're going to do is get started with the letter Z. So you'll need your pencil box and you'll need one of the blank pieces of paper. All right, guys, here's my clipboard, just like at school. I'm going to turn it over so that the only bumps I have to avoid are my little rivets right here and the sticker down here. And, you know, the first thing we're going to start with is going to be the border. And, of course, I'm going to be building it up and I'm going to be trying to um, make it be nice and solid. So I'm not going to run this whole video while I'm working on the border because, as you know, that takes a while and it's not something that uh, you really need my instruction on. So I'm going to keep going on my border, but I'm going to turn off the video right now and you can go ahead and pause the video while you work on your border. Once your border is done, go ahead and turn the video back on and we'll do the next part. All right, guys, I've tried to be up a little bit farther away so you can see the whole page at once. The camera is not liking to focus at this distance very well, though, so we're going to see how this does. So Z and S, I think, are the hardest letters because we're not just, you know, making the lines. You can if you want to, but to try to make this be Zach the Zebra, we're going to need to actually draw the wooden pieces. So... I'm going to come across here like this to start my little line across the top for Z. And I'm going to go down and across again. But now when I go across, I'm not going to go quite all the way across because I want to make this big line that slides down now. So I'm going to put, you know, the end here of my little line. And now I'm going to start my big line slides down. So here's this side of it sliding down and this side of it sliding down. All right, and I can look here and I can see, do you see how this is narrower and this is wider? So I may come back a little bit here and try to widen this and make this seem a little narrower, but uh, anytime you try to fix this too much, it just doesn't work out very well. So it's just going to be us, remember, doing our best and mistakes are okay because it's art. And we just see what we can do and start teaching our fingers how to do the things we want them to do. So here are my top little line and my top big line now. And now I'm going to work on the little line that goes across the bottom. I'm not going all the way down to the bottom because I need some room for legs. So here's my little line now going across the bottom. And again, you do your best. You see right here, I just realized this line came down too far, but that's all right. Okay, so now we're going to start. Here's our letter. We're going to start adding in the parts that make it look like a zebra. All right, so this guy got too skinny there at that end too. That's all right. So first I'm going to put the legs and I'm not going to work too hard on making my legs seem too much like fancy zebra legs. You can if you want to, but I'm just going to do two legs in the front and two legs in the back. And I'm making them kind of like this because then they, Zach the zebra was a very happy guy. He liked to jump and run around on the savannah a lot. And then I'm going to give him a tail. And since I'm making him be kind of happy and jumpy, I'm going to take his tail and sort of put it curled up like this, you know, that he's all happy. Now, zebras, they don't have uh, long fluffy tails like horses. Instead, they have, it's kind of like a skinny piece and then fluff at the end, more like a donkey. So I have my skinny tail here. And then here's the fluffy end of it. All right. Then up here, I'm going to stretch my zebra head out. And so Zach the zebra, he's happy. So I'm going to give him a bit of a smile and a bit of a nose. And then over here, zebras, instead of having pointy ears like horses, 
they have kind of more curved ears like a mule or a donkey or a rabbit. I'm going to give him a little bit of an eye. And then they're, uh, they don't have a floppy mane like a horse. They have one of these standing up. Oh, and you know what I just realized? <gasps> they don't have a mane there. Whoops. Their mane comes back here. So I may try to dig up an eraser and see if I can erase some of that. Remember how sometimes it works to erase crayon and sometimes it doesn't. All right. Here's this. Then I'm going to add in my zebra stripes. All right, I'm going to do that and then get a pink crayon. All right, guys, I paused my video. I got my zebra stripes added in. I tried to erase this part of the main sum. It didn't erase very well. If I wanted to, I could just go ahead and make a new one, but I, I kind of want to reinforce for you guys that it's okay to make a few mistakes. And this is a tricky one. I got my kind of pink crayon here. It's sort of a dark pink. If you have a light pink, that might be a little bit better. I'm just going to add in a little bit of pink here on his nose and a little bit of pink here in the ears. Now the one on the wall at school has a lighter pink, which I like a little bit better, but this actually is showing up better on camera. So the next thing I'm going to do is, of course, to do my background. Now, anytime we do the background, I've mentioned that it's kind of important not to just be scribbly because then, you know, it gets all in your picture, but especially now when we want so much of the white to stay, it's going to be important to work carefully, especially when you're close to Zach the zebra. And then I'm going to see here if maybe having my green will, uh, it kind of helps to cover up my little smudge there from where I messed up. Um, but not too bad. All right, I'm going to finish my background. You can pause the video and finish your background, and then we'll come back to check it. So here he is, all finished up. And once you have the zebra finished, you can put it into your plastic bag where you have all of your other, uh, your other alphabet pictures right there at the end. And then we'll start talking about how to assemble it into a book.